the Joe Rogan experience. That just shows you what a cracker Dustin Poirier is. The fact that Max Holloway, who beats the shit out of Calvin Cater and says, I'm the best boxer in the in the UFC, and Dustin's like, hold on, Dustin son. says, hold my hot sauce. Do you not remember what the fuck just went down just a few <laughs> yeah, months ago? Like, dude, just hold on here. Dustin Poirier is a bad motherfucker. I, I, He's I, a bad motherfucker. He yeah, really is. He texted me after the fight because me and Theo, you know, Theo's a big Dustin Poirier fan because we're both from Louisiana. Oh, yeah. And obviously, I, I'm a Connor Dick writer. <laughs> and so, and I love Dustin. I'm way closer with Dustin, but just you know, just for the show, it's fun to bet. And so I bet uh, Theo a thousand dollars cash. Whoa! So as soon as Dustin, I don't know why he thought this. As soon as he got backstage, he must have got to his phone. Text me, pay Theo his money. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, congrats, dude. That must dude. have been on his head. Dude, uh, yeah, like, right after I was he like, stopped. You know it's Connor. all love. Yeah, you know it's all to, love, man. Can't wait to tweet. Yeah. yeah, you can't say that with a fighter. You bet against a fighter, you can't say it. Yeah, he they knows get it's mad. love though. Yeah, they get mad. Take it personal. They do. Well, they're very emotionally invested. That's how they should be. Yeah. What do you What do you do with Dustin next? Well, there's two options. Have you talked about there's this? Pure, no, I have not. But there's the purest option. Which? The, the purest option is Charles Oliveira. That's Cor- as, If you're a purist, you want that fight. And I think I want that fight. That should be the right thing to do. If you want to make a shitload of money before Conor fights someone else, you have the rematch. Because Oh, no, you can't do that. Well, here's the thing. If Conor fights Michael Chandler next, which is a possibility, if Dustin fights... Um, uh, Charles Oliveira, and then Connor fights Michael Chandler. What are the odds that Connor beats Michael Chandler? I think Michael Chandler is a favorite in that fight. 100%. Yeah, and w- which is very dangerous for your money. If you want to make a lot of money, w- what you do is you you allow Connor to have some time off. You how w- w- you figure out a way to market this in a way that you explain a way that Connor could figure out a way to beat Dustin. Good luck. Good luck. He did beat him in the first fight, and he did rock him in the second fight. Uh-huh. And Connor actually, or excuse me, Dustin actually admitted there was one point in he the rocked. first round where he was he was hurt, um, and he was like, "If Connor followed up, I might have been in trouble." Uh, but that might be Dustin also saying, "Like I would like that He's rematch." Yeah, he knows what's up, and he also might want that rematch. I think you look at it, rematch. It, it, I th- you, and this pains me to say this. I think you got to take Connor out of the equation. He's out. He let lost. Me, so, let me throw one more variable. Go ahead. The COVID restrictions get lifted. Dublin, Ireland, soccer stadium. No, hear, hear me out here, dude. And it pains me to say this. I, <laughs> I love where your head's at. You got, you got to take Connor out of the equation of the, of the, for the race for the title. Because you got – Yes. What you're going to have is Charles Oliveira, Dustin Poirier, Michael Chandler, Justin Gaethje. Yes. And then Connor, they're over here. They're out of the tournament. You're, you're going to have Connor versus Nate Diaz trilogy in Dublin. Go ahead and do that. But they're not in the race for the title. Well, Connor versus Nate Diaz is an excellent option. It's an excellent option because that doesn't offend anyone like myself who's a purist. They both have time off. Yeah, give them some time off. Um, it doesn't offend anyone, and Nate is not the kind of kicker that Dustin is. He's much more of a boxer. It, it falls into Connor's wheelhouse more, and Nate is also insanely durable, and Nate also has a, a finish over Connor. Connor does not have a finish over Nate. And Diaz. at 55 is where this thing should be settled. Yes. And all you do that in Dublin, 55. but they're out of the conversation of title. Title is Charles right. Oliveira, Justin Gaethje, Michael Chandler. Yes, but that's what I a lot do. of people are very offended that Charles uh, that excuse me that um, uh, Michael Chandler gets an immediate jump right into almost title contention with one knockout over Dan Hooker. But well, then you don't know the history of Michael Chandler. That's true, but then... You're talking you, about a former multi-time world champion, Bellator, fighting the who's who over there, had a finish over Ben Henderson. But Patricio you know. Pitbull knocked him out how long ago? Yeah, but and who's a smaller guy, but he's also right. has a win over him, too. He does. Yeah. Well, no, he has a win over his brother. No, oh, that's right. Patricky Pitbull. Yeah, that's right. right. He KO'd his brother, and then Patricio uh, uh, got revenge. <clears throat> but... He's a two-division champion in Bellator. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free, only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.